close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Have some control over your mind. We live in a world where there's birth, aging, illness, and death. And if that weren't bad enough, it's the mind that creates a lot of suffering for itself around these things. So when we meditate, we're trying to get some control over the mind so it doesn't create that suffering. You want to stay in the object that you focus it on, and you want it to stay there. You've got to look after it. You've got to be mindful. In other words, to remember to stay here, alert to what's actually happening in the mind so you can catch anything that's going on. Catch it in time. And then ardent. In other words, you try to do this really well. You put your whole heart into keeping the mind right here. When the mind wanders off, as soon as you detect it, you bring it right back. You don't let, let it wander around, sniff the flowers a bit before it comes back. It comes right back. And while you're here, you try to be as sensitive as possible to what's going on. And it's in this way you get the mind under control. When the mind is under control, then it doesn't create a lot of suffering for itself. Because you begin to realize that birth, aging, illness, and death, these are just affairs of the body. But there's an awareness in here that doesn't grow old, and doesn't grow ill, and doesn't die. That's what we're after. But it lets itself get embroiled in these things and tied up in these things. And when it's tied up with things that change in this way, it's going to suffer for sure. So you've got to have a place in the mind where these things don't matter. Things come and things go, and okay, you're you're okay with the coming and going because you've got something good here that you've developed inside. So try to make sure that you have this skill under your under your belt, something you work on every day. Because we know that aging and illness and death are going to happen, but we don't know when they're going to happen. They can come at any time, and so you've got to be prepared at any time, all the time. And this way you're looking after yourself, and as you look after yourself, in this way you're less of a burden on the people around you. This past month I was visiting the hospital, noticing that the people who had no control over their minds, they were the most difficult for the other people to look after, and just kind of thrashing around, thrashing at the people helping them. Of course, the people who learned to have some more control over their minds, they, they were the ones able to not suffer themselves, not cause suffering for other people around them. So this is your gift, getting the mind to settle down, getting the mind under your control, a gift to yourself and a gift to the people around you. It's a skill that's worth working at every day.